Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday, February 4th, 2021. Uh, it's a great day to be a junior potter here. Mr. Perry here with your science stuff for today. Um, first off, make sure that you answer your bell ringer. That's always going to be an important day in, day out here. Um, if you haven't submitted your posters that you created for the base pairs, make sure that you submitted your posters up. And uh, what we're doing today, we're going to take a survey of your traits and see what type of traits you end up having. And I got about 15 to 20 traits, and we're going to see if you have them or not. This is going to help kickstart us off into our studies of genetics here. So what you need to do is pull up the assignment. Survey says traits, and then you're just going to go from there. When you pull it up, um, you will need these Google Slides that are in the document here because I got pictures showing you what each one of these traits means. So that's going to be pretty important if you don't know what uh, some of these traits are because they are kind of unique here. There's a nice introductory video about genetics. So you need to watch this genetic stuff first. And then as it says here, you're going to use the rest of the slides as a guide while checking the boxes on your student sheet for what traits you have and which ones you do not have. So I, the first one is, do you have detached earlobes? I mean, you got the full roundedness on the bottom there, or do they just connect? Are they attached or are they detached? And you can kind of see uh, the yes and the no there. How you fill this out, then back on the document, is that if you have the trait, of if you have detached earlobes, you put a little X in there. And obviously you would not have both of them at the same time. It'd be kind of weird to have detached but also attached at the same time. So you're one or the other, you leave the other one blank. You're just filling this survey out as far as what your traits are going to be. I'm gonna erase that real quick. Uh, when you get down here towards the questions, uh, I mean, you won't have an idea about this, so it actually makes it pretty good for you. Um, at home, you'll get more of a honest answer, I guess, as opposed to people saying, oh yeah, I have that, or no, I don't have that in classes, or shouting back and forth. Uh, but what you're going to do, you're just going to predict what one of the traits that you just did will be the highest amongst your classmates. Meaning, like if you said, oh, let's look at how many people can roll their tongue. If you think the most people in the class are able to roll their tongue, and that is the most common trait to have in this class, you would put that down and give your explanation why. Uh, and then likewise, for the other part, you're going to put no um, for however many think you do not have that trait um, in there and give it a little, little explanation why in there. Now, that's what we're doing in class. The homework for that night is on the next page where you are going to survey one of your family members. And up here at top, you're going to put the family member's name and their relationship to you. It could be a brother, it could be an aunt, uncle, it could be a cousin, it could be mom, dad, uh, somebody that is related to you in some way, shape, or fashion. Um, if you can't find anybody that has that, just survey somebody that wouldn't be a part of class. Um, because what we're doing is using this to see how many are just yes or no anyway. So while it would be nice to have something that would be somebody that's a member of your family, it does not necessarily have to be. Um, if for some reason that tonight you cannot find a member of your family to survey and see what kind of traits they have. Um, I always think it's kind of cool to see this stuff. Um, I was comparing myself with my wife's traits the other night and seeing uh, which ones we had and which ones that we don't have and then looking at our kids to find out if they had my trait for this or if they had my wife's traits for it. So it's kind of a cool little activity if you're able to do stuff like that. Um, but you just need to survey one family member, put your exes uh, and stuff in there. And then we will talk about what you're going to do with that tomorrow in tomorrow's activity. Um, so we're going to finish the second half of this. So don't submit it quite yet because there's a little bit more left that we're going to do with this. Um, but that is all that we'll have for today. Because um, the homework is just survey one family member, 
Make sure you have that ready for tomorrow, and I will show you what you need to do with that tomorrow for Friday's lesson. I hope you're doing well, staying safe out there, and I hope you're back in class with us tomorrow, if not as soon as possible, uh, for you to be back with us because we want you here um, in, in the classroom with all of us. But I hope you're doing well out there. If you have any questions whatsoever, if you'd like to meet in, just drop an email, let me know. I'll get everything hooked up from there. Um, but with, without further ado, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye.